go. So it is January 1st. Woo! Woo! 2018, baby. And we are the Fit Crew. And today we are going to talk about January. <laughs> We've got a big month, guys. We've got a huge month coming up. Um, and it's really, really exciting because our team is growing. Your guys' volume has been incredible, which means that you are out there, you're talking to people, you're changing a lot of lives, and you're helping get people set up with the right tools that they need to be successful. So now I want to help you to make sure that, that we're helping people to use them correctly. Okay, so yes, the first step is talking to people, getting them set up with, um, with maybe a challenge pack, or maybe it's just with beach body on demand i've seen a lot of you lately have been talking to your friends and family and like helping them maybe get switched over to you because they had bought a challenge pack from someone else a year ago and now they are on your team so i want to help you start them right okay sound cool y'all on the same page lisbeth looking super jazzed over there love it all right, so um, before we get started with that, though, I do need to give some shout outs. Looks like some of the people I was going to shout out aren't on here, but Baby Bay Glancer. Can we just like, what? Just like, holy crap. Baby Bay Glancer. I call her that because I started working with this girl when she was in high school. She's 19 years old. So if you guys have seen her on our page, know that she is a baby child and she's kicking everybody's butt, which I love. I think that's um, pretty incredible. She has, um, oh my, she's got 1,224 volume points. I have 1,067. Lisbeth is kicking butt, 455, 400 with Kelly. Uh, Heath had 280, Shelby had 270. Now you guys, it takes a long time normally, unless you're Bailey, it takes a really long time to build up that kind of a volume. Because when I talk about volume, what that means is you, you get 90 volume points from your own Shakeology. Okay, so 90 of the volume that you see posted, that's your Shakeology. And if you happen to buy Every, like maybe a mega pack this month, your volume is going to be a lot higher, right? But for a lot of these coaches, what, what you're going to see over time is that they sign someone up and if they give them a good experience and they order Shakeology the next month, right? So over time, their volume is going to grow and grow and grow and grow. And so if you see someone with really, really high volume, either they're just rocking that month and got a lot of new people on board, they went crazy and had a shopping spree themselves, or they have had a lot of clients over time that are continuing to order. Um, now, some of you who have been here for a little while, like John Houston, Lisa Schultz, Carrie Burgoon, uh, you guys are going to start noticing that people, their Beachbody On Demand, this is about the time of year, Beachbody On Demand came out last year around this time. So you're going to start to see your volume increasing as people's Beachbody On Demand is renewed. So I just want you guys to kind of be aware of that. Um, the company as a whole is moving away from putting all of the recognition into Success Club. But I still want to point out that Bailey did kick butt 10 Success Club points. I had 10 this month. We had Lisbeth with, it hasn't updated in the last, did you get four? Okay, so four, Lisbeth. Uh, we had probably three or four other people at two. Um, but basically, we did so well that we broke Beachbody. Like the website crashed. Um, so at least from my office view, I can't pull up any of the details of anything right now of your guys. I, I couldn't see the like final report of who got, who did what. Um, but what I can see is that we had Lisa sign up a new coach this week, Hillary. Um, she's awesome. Super cool chick. We had our UK coach, Hugh, Hugh Sharper Harper. He's our superstar coach from London. He signed up a coach, Carleen. Um, I signed up a coach, Katie. And so I just wanted to give a shout out. There's a lot of people who are, um, 
also running their own challenge groups right now. Like John has his own thing going. He's John has his own free group. John has his own like challenge group that he's been helping Marie run for the last however long. Thank God he's coming back to me because you know we need a little we need a little dickery. We need a little dickery in our group. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. We've got Bailey's been running her own group. Kelly has been running her own group. So anyway, basically what I want you guys to know is I see you working. I'm really proud of you. I'm really, really proud of you. It's, it gives me all the like mama bear feels to look out and see like I get on and on my timeline, it's like, or not my timeline, on my news feed, it's like all your gorgeous faces, ripped bodies are just filling up my whole news feed. And I'm like, yeah, those are my, that's my team. So I, I hope that you guys are starting to like, yourselves think about what you can create within your own little circle like it doesn't have to be a huge thing that doesn't need to be everyone's dream but like making the influence within the people that you want to influence and start to dream about about what that would look like for you i always like katherine beto she she had um the greatest like team motto and team name she she has team chill bod because they just she's like we just yeah erica's on team chill bod she's like we don't we don't take things like too seriously around here you know we're not like the most crazy hardcore like eight pack abs like we're just kind of chill we're chill bod like we're just trying to like keep it chill in the head and we're trying to like get a little healthier um but i loved when she came onto our team and she always put out what her vision was because I think it's so important that you move forward with this idea of like, what is it that you even want to do? Like, why are you even doing this? You trying to help a couple people in your neighborhood? That's cool. Let me help you do that. Are you trying to like get a group of teachers and like just keep yourself on track? That's okay too. Because then you don't need to worry about your volume being at a certain level, right? You don't need to stress yourself out about that if that's not even, that's not even something that goes along with your goal. So as we're starting the new year and as you see this recognition coming in from like success club, cool, volume, cool, you see people being recognized for different things. I want you to keep your eye on your prize. Like what is it that you want to create? What is it that you want to do? This is your business. This isn't, this isn't Karen's business for you. This is your business. So if you guys can just kind of this week, maybe tonight, if you get a chance, write down some ideas of like what it is that you want to do with your business this year. I have an idea for most of you of your, what you're wanting to do with your health and fitness. But from a business perspective, are you wanting to get a small team together, three or four people to help keep you accountable and cover your cost of Shakeology? Are you wanting to learn how to transition people from challenger to becoming coaches? And whatever your goal is, whatever you feel like you really need to be working on right now, I want you to use my little uh, acuity link, the scheduling link, and I want you to set up a time with me. Let me show you where it is. I just saw that mouth and little things over there. Share screen share screen okay so this is a uh, fit crew coaches group click on files tab come down to um zoom links team call times trainings <laughs> my hair looked so fly at that i'm just saying do you guys see that blue on point um conference with carrie steelman schmidt scheduling with Carrie. So that's how you get to it. Set up a time with me. Um, and if you're like trying to make something big happen this year, set up a time with me every week. I have the time to talk to you. And I would really like it to go to people who like want to build, want to build a business. I can continue calling all of the people that I normally call just to like, shoot the shit, but I'd really love to help you guys build your business and focus on your goals. But I need to know what those are um, 
because otherwise it's really hard to like steer what kind of trainings would help you. Okay. Um, for those of you who are just getting started or maybe who feel like you need to re restart in some ways, like maybe you've fallen off for a, for a little while and you're like, okay, now I have the time to commit to this. I would recommend starting with the resources that we already have. Instead of trying to create everything yourself, we have a challenge group that's starting on January 15th. I have um, Dennis, my virtual assistant superstar from Ukraine. He's amazing. Um, he helps me out with a lot of the post and telling of numbers and that kind of thing. So he's going to be posting the 80 day obsession, um, like the daily post that the company made for us. He's going to be posting that in our 80 day obsession launch group starting on the seventh. So that's done for you. Capiche? That part's done. I set up the 80 day obsession, um, my challenge tracker app, and we have six, amazing super hardcore fit crew coaches the tough love tribe who's going to be looking through there and helping us to keep everyone on track okay we also have a group of people who have volunteered to help with raffles we have people who have volunteered to bring the fun to the team john houston um, we have people who are going to be the sunshine crew giving shout outs so we have a lot of things that are already in place so that you don't have to do it all yourself. We're sharing the responsibility so that you guys can do the leadership positions that you want to do. Does that make sense? So use what we have. Um, you'll see here, we've got the scripts tab. I'm going to be adding two things set tonight, but I wanted to tell you, tell you about it first. Um, there's the fit law script. It's not on there. I'm going to be adding it. So it's going to pop up after our thing. I see you guys are like trying to look at it on your screens. Um, I want to go over that with you. And I want you to just know like new coaches start here. There's good information there. If you're a new coach, um, business activity trackers, this is awesome. Amy Realman's business activity tracker, John Houston, I think we need to put yours up here, man. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, a business activity tracker is yeah, basically... I'll put, a it in. Okay. I'll, I'll put it in there. Okay. Thank you. Um, I really like this one. The Coach Empower Hour is one that I have um, laminated at my house. I use an Expo marker. This one's so good. Um, it's long, though. <laughs> So what I did is I just put my weekly coach action plan up at my house. And this is like, no matter what level you are, these are the things that you need to be doing every week. Wow. And if you're a team builder, so if you've got a team, you, you need to be doing these things also. Um, I really like this part as well. This is like on the daily plan, my posts, daily to do list, empower hour. And then this is like, have I done my friend request, my daily check-ins to all my groups guys, if you're not working from a list, this is going to be a really, really hard business for you to run because once you, once you have a list, once you have like a, a system that works for you, then when you show up to work, you can just get your job done. You're not creating, 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 creating. You can just show up, check into all the places. You don't get lost in like commenting on different things in different places because you know you only have a short period of time to be able to do that. And this is the part that kind of kills me. You guys see where it says CG invites? Challenge group invites coach invites. I was like, whoa, that's like a big, that's like half the page, yo. I was not doing that. I was inviting people to do like free groups or to like, tell me about their health and fitness goals or maybe like whatever. But I, there was no way that I was getting to 16 
people a day to be like, hey, do you want to do a challenge with us by chance? But as soon as that thing showed up on my little list and it took up so much of the space, you know what? I started doing it. So if it's your goal to have more challengers or it's your goal to have more coaches on your team, you're probably going to have to start asking people pretty regularly. So I highly recommend using one of these business activity trackers. Let me see if I can get out of here. Um, there's a lot of other stuff in here. New challenger coach email series. If you feel like you need uh, to freshen up on the information from coach basics, go ahead and sign up for that email series again. That'll help you out. But we're trying to keep it simple. Okay. Um, hey, Carrie. Yeah. My list is up. It's called HWorks, uh, HWorks Tracker. Okay, cool. And it's in the, um, in the business activity tracker section? Uh, it's just in the, in the documents. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So feel free to check out John's, um, the 80 day obsession launch group. This is where I want you guys posting all the stuff. Now there's some people who are in this group who are not signed up yet and that's okay. They're in there to get some exposure, get some information. If you guys have people who are still interested in joining in, add them to this group, let them kind of get some exposure to it, but don't forget about them. You got to like, you know, put them in there so that they can see what's going on, get an idea of it, give them a day or two. And then if they're, if they're not on board, take them out of the group. Okay. Um, because this launch group is then going to transition into our challenge. Okay. I'm not going to make a new I call it like, yeah, like an informational plate page where they could learn more about it. So I've added people because of that. Yeah, that's okay. That's totally fine. But we haven't started yet. So once we start, I'm still going to say, if you want to add people into it, that's cool. Um, hey, mom. Bowdy needs to go out. He's crying. Bowdy. Bad timing. Okay, so um, use the group. Use what, what we have in place here. Any questions on that? As you guys are um, making your plans for 80 Day Obsession, I want you to think about if you have an accountability group. So like John Houston, Kelly, and Lisbeth, you all have people that are, you're keeping them accountable. So what I would recommend for all of you to do is have a message thread of just your people and create a hashtag that just your people use. Okay, so this is your tribe. These are your people who you're going to be giving them shout outs. Um, they're going to be hashtagging your team. You want to kind of create a team within a team because with something this big where we have, I mean, there's right now there's 83 members in there, but I have a feeling it's going to be more like 100. That's a lot of people in a group. And so people can get kind of lost. So how are you going to make sure that your people aren't just dropped in this group and then like, okay, cool. Well, there's all this stuff going on. So they're getting what they need. That doesn't really work. So um, if you guys want to add me into your groups, into your little message threads, I'd be happy to be in there to, you know, continue to support you in that way. Um, I know Bailey said that one of her challengers actually was like, we should create a team hashtag. And they wanted it to be like BBB, like Bailey's Beachbody Babes 18, which I thought was really cute. So um, that's going to be hers and all of her people when they post, that's going to be their thing and she's going to be giving them shout outs. And I think that for many of you, when you started out, that was something that, that we did that helped you to get leadership because then, John, if you have, if you have your team, now you have a chance to build leadership within it. Because maybe you need one of your challengers to help out with buddying up with someone who's struggling. Or maybe you need one of them to help with asking questions a certain week. 
within your message thread. Like, hey, could you lead the message thread this week? So um, for those of you who are at the point where you're working with people who have been doing the challenges for a while, now it's time to give them some leadership opportunities. You know, obviously they don't, they don't have to if they don't want to, but give them some opportunities to step up and be a leader and help you out so that you guys don't have quite as much on your plate. You don't have to be the one making the team collages all the time to give shout outs. You can have somebody who's a leader on your team doing that, a challenger. Um, maybe you want to have like, I don't know, have one person a week go around and post something on everybody's Facebook walls to cheer them on on Sunday before the, you know, the next week starts. So um, brainstorming leadership opportunities for your challengers once they're in. So we don't want to do that for people who it's their first week or even their first challenge ever. We don't want to be like, welcome to 80 day obsession. Learn how to use the container system and how to use the bands and how to use these carpet sliders and how a challenge group works and how to use challenge tracker app. And by the way, could you make a collage for our team? <laughs> like that's, that's not going to work. But I do think that a lot of our challengers who have been doing this for a long time need something new and they need an opportunity to lead to even want to continue doing things. And who knows? I mean, maybe, maybe you could have a team captain or two team captains who lead a lot of the stuff and you help delegate. They help you be a good leader to them, to the rest of the team. And maybe they decide that they want to try out coaching. Okay. So I just want you guys thinking about that. No matter where you are in the journey, it's your goal. Whatever your goal is, we want to make a plan to help you meet it. And a lot of you are at the point where you're looking to build coaches. So that's a suggestion for you. All right. Moving on. Did, did Bailey get on this call yet? For our, nope. Okay. Then we will not be doing the, um, maybe I can just have her make a video about her Instagram stories and how she's running that. She's gotten her stories from having just like a, she had a hundred and then she had a couple hundred people watching her stories and she is now up to a thousand people watching her stories every day. Like she's grown and the way that she is doing this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you kind of an overview, but, but she, let me click out of the share really quick. I'll give you kind of an idea so that you know if this is something that applies to you. But um, she's watching the people who have awesome stories. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Instagram stories are the little bubbles at the top of Instagram, very similar to the little bubbles at the top of Facebook, right? Uh, there's stories in both places. And the way that most of us are using stories is to see who's actually following us. That's the simple way to explain it. So um, we're going through and we're kind of documenting our life a little bit. And there's a lot, of, a lot of people who just go in there and they click and they watch people's stories and they watch what they're doing. Those people are interested in your life for a reason. So if you're posting about eating healthy and about being a super mom, Lisbeth, and about, you know, your workouts and you're talking about the things that you're into and people are watching it, it's because they want to see it. So what you can do with that is you can then start giving some of those people information about challenges that are coming up and reaching out to the people who are watching your stories and see if they'd be interested in doing a challenge because why else are they watching you? But there's a lot of techniques that you can use to build up the number of people who are watching your stories. And one of the things you can do is giveaways. And that's something that Bailey has started to do. She, she'll do like, she watches people's stories who are kicking butt and she takes their ideas and she duplicates it. She makes them her own. So she'll say, okay, oh, that person did a giveaway and everybody was participating. If you like my page or tag someone in a comment or, you know, respond to this message, I'm going to give 
give away this granola bar to one of the people who, who messages me or who responds to this poll. And so she's increasing interaction. She's asking a lot of questions where people have to choose this or that. Like, do you like home workouts? Yes or no. I mean, I, I know it sounds really, really simple, but people are getting on there because she is talking to them and telling them about her day. And it kind of turns into a little bit of a reality television show. Kind of cool. Um, so follow her. Even if it's not your vibe, you might be able to take that idea and turn it into something that might be interesting to your followers. Make it yours. Okay, I see that there are some things in the chat real quick. Look, right? Lisbeth? Lisbeth? I would like to have a conversation with whoever said that to you because I love your stories. And I don't think there's anybody who gets on and clicks on stories and they're like, oh, there's too many little long Why? Like, they ever and if her. they didn't want to watch your story, why are they watching it anyways? Like, you're not forcing them to watch your story. Click on your damn bubble. Like, that makes no sense. Lisa for the win. Lisa's got a knife she's holding up. <laughs> See that? We got your back, girl. So just don't even. That's the thing is, I mean, all right, well, maybe, maybe you'd have 21 and the one would be uh, um, rude. So I'd rather have 20 that support me than 21 and one of them be a, a rude person. So I'm not gonna comment on that anymore because it makes me feisty and mad. Um, but for everybody else who is on here, we don't have that much longer. What I want, wanted to do with you guys for the last couple minutes here is give you a posting plan. So what, what can you post on your page, whether you're doing stories, whether you're doing Facebook, whether you're posting on Instagram, I want you to pick one to focus on. One. It's really, really hard to spread yourself in all these different places and feel like I have to post here and 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 here. And then in all the groups for all the people, and some of them are necessary, some of them help your business, but I want you to pay attention to which ones actually make a difference. John Houston said an awesome thing. He's like, you know what? This free group I've been leading, it's not converting. It's not converting. It's not converting into, into challengers. Like you have to pay attention to that stuff. If you're a business owner, you have to be like, okay, these are, this is what I'm spending my time doing every single day. How many of these actions are actually resulting in me building my business and moving my business forward? Okay. How many of these actions are helping the people that I already have? And how many of them are helping me to get new people to help. You know what I mean? That's important. And how many of them are just choosing the right color of teal to be the border of your picture? Like how much time, you know what I mean? Because you can spend a ton of time on activities that don't matter. And so I want to help you guys kind of, we're gonna pare it down, we're gonna get it down to just what you need to be doing because I know that you are all busy. Um, pick a social media platform to focus on. Well, I'm going to be focusing on Instagram stories. That doesn't mean I'm never going to post on Facebook. It doesn't mean I'm never going to post on regular Instagram, but my focus is going to be on getting, transitioning the people who are watching my stories into potential challengers, clients, or coaches. Connecting with those people. So in order to do that, I have to put my focus somewhere. So I want you guys to pick a focus and I want you to look up if you're doing Facebook stories look up Facebook stories for Beachbody and do some research on that every single day do like a little watch a five-minute video on it to learn more about how to effectively use that social media like post for this um, and one really common technique is a call to action a call to action post is where you are actually posting about a challenge. And we don't do that very often because it can be salesy and gross. It's like, at, if you're doing too much like 
hey guys, I've got this challenge going on and I'd love for you to join me. If anyone wants to join me, comment below. Put a little, put a purple heart if you wanna join in. Does anyone wanna join in? How about now, how about now, how about now? So you have to be like giving people good content in that same social media location in order for them to give a crap when you are then saying you have a challenge. So today I went through and I set up a whole bunch of like, I do my Facebook like page. I set that up ahead of time so that I don't have to do it throughout the week. And I know that I'm still recruiting. I want people to be joining in for 80 day obsession. So my posts are Monday, something that motivates Tuesday. I'm doing a transformation. So choose a transformation of somebody because then it's not just like, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. It's like, look at her. Look at that booty. Look at how hard that mama has worked to like transform her mind or transform her body or make herself healthier so that she can do fill in the blank. I love Transformation Tuesday, even though some people might knock it because you don't have to focus on a physical transformation. There are so many different types of transformations. And so if you don't want to focus on yourself, gives, it's a perfect time to give someone else a shout out. On Wednesday, give a workout tip. Workout tip Wednesday. And some people, I, I tell them to do a wacky Wednesday post. You can do a wacky Wednesday post where people get to know a little bit more about what's weird about you because that's what makes you follow worthy. If, if you're just kind of blending in and you're just like, oh, by the way, I work out, by the way, I work out, by the way, I work out, like, who, okay, cool. That's great, but I can tell you 100% when people tag me in something, it is because of something that's weird about me that they remembered. They're like, unicorn stuff, oh, psycho workout program, oh, this person has rainbow hair, or like, it's all the tacos, or look, it's a taco dress. It's like, okay, they remember these kind of like, personal things that I'm sharing that may make me a little quirky or weird, but you have to share those things. Otherwise people aren't going to really know what you're about or what you're into. Okay. Thursday. Um, this doesn't, this doesn't go with the, like it starting with the same letter thing, but I think on Thursdays, I think it's important to talk about the challenge. I don't know if you guys can think of something that starts with a TH that is related to that, but like accountability, like what the friendships, like people who uh, meal plan, making meal plans for your other challengers. Yes, John Houston. Thrusting. Thrusting. Thursday. Thrusting Thursday. Thrusting relating to thrusting positive goals on your well, use it as you wish i'm just throwing the term out there okay. use your imagination yep yep i appreciate that i appreciate that okay so um just kidding thriving <laughs> thriving thriving right oh better. yes thank you oh man that's okay. so much more appropriate see i knew you'd come through for me john thriving thursday okay so so like what about these challenges are making you thrive so there's different ways of talking about the fact that we're doing a challenge without saying, would you like to join my challenge? Would you like to join my challenge? Would you like to join my challenge? You can show a picture of your meal plan. Like, hey, I'm thriving today because I'm, I'm making this plan or like I'm making my grocery list. Let me know if you want a copy of it. Give a little bit of it away for free. Help some people out. You got to start somewhere, right? If you're brand new and you're just trying to build up your clientele a little bit, you got to start somewhere. Um, so, so yeah. And then Friday, I I'd say fun Friday. So we can do workout Wednesday, giving people workout tips, not just, not just look at my sweaty selfie. What can they do? Show them how to use paper plates as sliders and teach them a move that they can do at home. So actually add value in some way. Make it something related to 80 day obsession. So maybe they'll be like, hey, what workout are you doing? Or how can I get some more of those paper plate moves as you did over there with Miss Hillary, right? So do something that they're gonna be like, okay, what, what you doing? But teach them something through your workout 
And then Friday, we can have that be like fun Friday where you teach them something about you. So stick to certain things on certain days and that might help you to make, make post plans with the idea that this is all, we're giving them information in different ways, jab, jab, right hook is the, is the method there that's getting people to know that you're doing a challenge. Okay, um, a call to action post is a good thing to do on, a lot of people do them on, on Sundays, some people do them on Saturdays, because a lot more people are home. But you can just kind of say like, you guys may have